Did recently funded stimulus check recipients use their money to stick it to the ultra rich? Did a group of Reddit investors conspire to take down billionaires they felt were rigging the stock market? Is the stock market rigged in favor of the ultra rich at the expense of the everyday retail investor like you and me? <laughs> are we living in the matrix and a glitch just exposed how we are all being manipulated? Hello and welcome to today's trending news video. A group of billionaires are accusing stimulus check receivers of joining together to attack the ultra wealthy by banding together and strategically purchasing stocks. If you've been watching the stock market this week, it has been a wild ride. A group called Wall Street Bets got together and strategically purchased GameStop stock after learning that hedge funds and billionaires were purposely coordinating to depress the stock value so that it would drop and that they could short the stock to make billions and billions of dollars. However, just the opposite happened. Around the beginning of the year, GameStop was trading for around $15 per share. Just as it was time to exercise shorts or bets against the stock, Wall Street bets started buying GameStop uh, stock in record numbers. This drove up the price of the stock fast, as uh, just as fast as the blood pressure of these billionaires who were about to lose their shorts. To add fuel to the fire of this rising hot stock, uh, other Wall Street firms, not wanting to miss out, uh, jumped in on the bandwagon. Also, other retail investors seeing this skyrocketing uh, stock opportunity did not want to miss out on this money-making opportunity. On top of that, Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, put out a, t a tweet about game stock and how shorting stocks was wrong uh, and that people should be looking into GameStop and also Bitcoin. This sent Bitcoin and GameStop uh, soaring. As the stock uh, took off, billionaires and hedge fund managers began to panic. Right around this same time, the app Robinhood started to either buffer the purchase of these stocks in order to help wealthier clients, or they began to run out of money to support the volume of new transactions. By interfering with the free market, Robinhood found themselves in very hot water. Robinhood started to sell off GameStop stock for investor clients without their permission. This is a huge no-no. This may lead to mega fines or even bankruptcy as class action lawsuits are already starting. Now, Robinhood then blocked the ability to buy GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, and Nokia, uh, just to name a few. They essentially took the role of the SEC or the stock exchanges, which is also a big no-no. They don't have the right to interfere in the free market. Within an hour or so, Robinhood, GameStop, uh, Dogecoin, Nokia, BlackBerry, and other stocks found themselves trending on Google search, which only added more intrigue and interest to an already difficult situation. This, <laughs> this whole thing culminated in the absolute rise of a stock that was sticking it to Wall Street. The U.S. government, members of Congress, the SEC, the New York Stock Exchange, many lawsuits and also a class action lawsuit will seek to get to the bottom of what really happened in this feeding frenzy of GameStop. So did the Wall Street Bets Reddit group break the law? It doesn't look like it. In fact, it looks like they used Wall Street's tactics of ganging up on the little guy to get back at the big hedge funds and billionaires using the very tactics they've used against retail investors for decades? Did Robinhood shut down buying to quietly allow billionaires and hedge funds and private clients like Citadel to exit with less losses? 
Only an investigation and time will tell. Is the stock market rigged in favor of the ultra rich? Probably in some ways. Uh, and you should always exercise caution when it comes to investing in the stock market because so much can change in a single day. They have so much pull and influence compared to the little guy like you and me. Truthfully, I sat back and watched the whole thing play out. I chose not to put my own money in because I was watching the velocity of money moving and also the, the upward trend and uh, figured that this was market manipulation on a grand scale. But let me know in the comments, uh, did you jump in on this feeding frenzy? Or did you even know it was going on? Let me know. Do you think the stock market is rigged, uh, truly free, or will we see another stock market crash in the near future? Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. The real question is, when it comes to GameStop, is, this, is their stock really worth $15 per share? Or is it worth the $312 it finds itself at today? Only time will tell. All this frenzy and uncertainty certainly made the price of silver go up just one day after my silver video. Uh, most of my personal stocks stayed pretty even keel uh, as I typically invest for dividends and not for hot trends that could rise and fizzle out within a single day. All right, well, was this GameStop a fluke or a new trend as retail investors seek to grab a piece of the billionaire and hedge fund pie that we've been missing out on for decades? I'll continue to bring you smart money tips and other trending news. I hope that this video finds you well. As I let you go, I wish to remind you that you are amazing. Be careful out there, especially when it comes to stock market investings. Hey, I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video. All right. Hey, well, I hope you enjoyed that video on the stock market and also on the feeding frenzy of the GameStop fiasco that happened this week. I wanted to let my community know that I will continue to bring you trending news and also smart money tips. Uh, in the coming weeks, I'm going to be talking about uh, some of my personal investments with real estate, the good, the bad, the ugly, about uh, silver, gold. I'll also be talking to you about some of the different dividend stocks that are out there that I think you should know about especially if you're trying to become a first-time investor or a better investor, you need to know what is your personal philosophy when it comes to investing. Do you want to try to catch those upward trends? Uh, do you want to just see slow and steady wins the race over time? Do you want to have a dividend-paying stock that whether it rises or falls, pays you each month or each quarter? This is some of the new videos I'm going to be bringing to you in addition to continuing with the stimulus check updates. Again, I hope this video finds you well and I'll see you on the next video.